We have some great gift ideas for the RVer or traveler in your life. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will definitely live amazing with some of these things that we are going to be talking about. So you probably know Paul and I have been full-time RVers for the past two years. And everything that we're going to be talking about, we actually use. And these are great not just for full-time RVers, but weekend campers or just travelers, don't you think? Yeah, in some cases, even if you're not a traveler, there's a few items that you might want to have in your home if you're still in sticks and bricks and you have no intention of ever coming out on the road. So these are basically just handy dandy items. Uh, some are very specific for traveling and some aren't. I should also mention that we have links to everything in the description so that you can go right to uh, the product and yeah. look at it. Let's just get started. Sure. Well, I'm super excited about these tokens. I remember you were raving about them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, so most of you know, I'm on a mission to see all the national parks, and I'm sure a lot of you are too. Some of you might be on a mission to check off every state that you've visited. Well, there is a company called the Wander Club, and they sell tokens, and you can collect them. So what I have is a token for every national park. I've actually been to 27 so far. And what's so cool is you can get a token holder, I keep this on my purse, it's just so fun. These are all of the national parks, but you can do it for the states, you can do it for countries, you can do it for continents, and they have a lot of other products for travelers too. And the really cool thing is that we have partnered with the Wander Club and you get 20% off, and all you need to do is put in the code LIZ20. <laughs> that shirt came from the Wander Club. Yes, it did. Yeah, they have a lot of travel stuff. I saw that they had, I think, U.S. puzzle maps and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. really great for the traveler in your life or if you want to just give yourself a gift. One of my favorite things is is this tool that you can get from... Whoa, full of stuff. <laughs> well, this tool that you can get from Harbor Freight. It is a an impact driver. And this thing comes in handy. I use this thing sometimes, well, not every day, but, but at least once or twice a week I'm pulling this thing out and doing something with it. If you have an RV with stabilizer jacks, you can get a socket driver. Instead of cranking, you put this thing in, you drive your jacks up and down with this in no time at all. Well, as a longtime camper, I have gone through several campground or campsite journals before finally finding one that works. I think it's really important to have one that's spiral bound so that you can write in it. A lot of them don't have the, the type of things that I want to make notes of, but this one by Current does, and it includes details that I think are really important, like things to do next time, favorite site numbers, and we go to campgrounds and we may not get in the best site or we may think we're in the best site and then we're there for a while and we're like, oh, that over there would have been good. As many of you know, I am a coffee snob and uh, big time, big time coffee snob. So uh, having my morning coffee is very important to me. And to do that, I have to make hot water. And of course, we could use I could use the stove and do it in a saucepan and you know all of that. But before I left on my journey, this was one of the first things that I purchased, and this little hot pot. It's electric, so it, you're yeah. saving on propane if you have the space for it. This thing is great. It's more than two years old and it hasn't failed me yet. So mm -hmm. it's it's uh, really good and it's very inexpensive. It was under $20 for this thing. and, and uh, It heats up hot water so fast. We use it for hot chocolate. I like to have um, hot protein drinks as well as coffee, tea. If you need something to make hot water, this is your pot. <laughs> so one of my favorite appliances going back five years is a panini press. And I thought, well, do I want to bring it with me on the road? Well. I love it. Not only do I use it as a toaster, so I save on that, but I use it to obviously make sandwiches. I like making grilled cheese and uh, doing scrambled egg sandwiches with it. And it will also do quesadillas. You can actually fry a piece of salmon or you can cook some steak in it. It's like mm -hmm. a little grill. Mm -hmm. And I think that when you decide to do this life, if you're thinking about doing this life, you have to look at things that are multi-purpose. And that's what I love about the Panini Press. Now, if you're going to share your space with somebody, <laughs> you, 
you might want to have a, a pair of uh, earbuds. These are wireless earbuds. It's great for when you want to be listening to something that your partner doesn't particularly want to hear. <laughs> and, uh, it's a relationship saver for yes, sure. It, it can be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I listen to audiobooks. I watch a lot of YouTube as well and it's a great gift idea. RVs are small and you know they're very helpful for that but also if you're driving down the road and you're in the passenger seat you yeah. could be listening to an audiobook or watching YouTube Absolutely. and not not bothering the driver. That's right. <laughs> you can be listening to something and, and they can be talking away and it's like <laughs> You're in your own world. Yep. All right, so let's talk about getting out and about and exploring. I have been using these drawstring, really lightweight backpacks for a few years. And what I love about them is exactly that. They don't weigh anything. If I'm going to take a hike for, you know, three miles, we're going to be gone for a half hour, an hour. I don't need a big, heavy backpack. I just want to have an apple and a power bar, maybe extra water, and that's it. Mm -hmm. These are great. They're reflective. And another way that we use these is we put them on our back when we bike. Yep. So that makes them safe. They draw a string, and there's a little pocket, and there is a sleeve to hold your water. And while we're on the note, never mind. While we're on the subject. <laughs> while we're on the subject. If you are out and about and exploring, these little fanny packs are great to hold your water, to hold a power bar. Your phone. Yeah. Yeah, these are great. And we couldn't find the exact one, but we found some similar ones, and they will be in the Amazon store. And again, we'll have links to everything below. So this is something that uh, Juiced Bicycles sent us to, to check out, and it is just, it's just very cool. It's a horn, <laughs> a, a very sound, loud horn. And that is needed. So if you have an e-bike, as we do, a lot of people will glance at us down the path and not realize, you know, that, that we are e-bikes and we're going yep. fast, although we try and slow down around people. Sometimes people will walk in front of us and do uh, that again. Yeah, a blast of this <coughs> is going to get their attention. <laughs> yeah. But what also is it? It's a motion alarm and, and it comes with a, a little remote and, and, you, and you arm it. <coughs> and... <coughs> It will do. It's <laughs> hurting my ears. It will definitely uh, stop it. <laughs> and something it took me a few minutes to figure out. I guess I could have read the instructions. <laughs> is that after you arm it, you actually to disarm it, you have to hit the unlock button twice. Yeah, real fast. Real fast. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's loud, the... and it w it will protect your bike. So tell me about the tool you have here that you always have with you everywhere you go. I bought this thing in, in uh, 2012 while I was still working. What it is, is a Leatherman Wave, and it's like a Swiss Army knife on steroids. It has all sorts of things in it. It's got uh, the pliers, and it's got a knife, and it's got a saw, kind of a saw blade. It came with a bit kit. This has all different size screwdriver bits. It also has Allen bits and Torx bits. I mean, it's just full of stuff. We'll put a link to the one that he has because yep. Paul has this with him every time we go biking. Yep. It's yep. in the truck when we're driving down the road. Yep. It is just like mm -hmm. your second wallet. Yeah. It is a handy dandy tool. I don't go anywhere without it. These are a must if you're uh, driving an RV that requires you to back it into spots. Sometimes we don't have cell service, because sometimes we'll use yeah. our cell phones, yeah. but without cell service, we got into trouble a couple times ago mm -hmm. because we didn't have cell service and we were like, it was too stressful because we were, you know, 55 feet apart. Mm -hmm. So we went and bought these walkie talkies and they are great. And they're, of course they're great if you're hiking. Remember I went on a hike and you stayed home and I was able to, yeah. to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, about a mile out, I think is where I lost you. Right, and I was and going was down a, a mountain. And it was in a very um, hilly area, so. Yeah, you were on the other side of a mountain. Yeah, we use them actually to communicate on bike rides. We have these little earpieces, uh, microphones that clip onto our jerseys. Just a quick touch of the button and, hey, are you back there? Yeah, or hey, I need to stop real quick. If you don't know, we have a bike channel and we have videos of our bike rides. So you can check those out. 
And that leads into the very next gift idea, which is a GoPro. Everything that we shoot, everything that you see on our channel is shot by a GoPro now. We have three, yeah. but they will attach to the outside. I mean, you can attach them anywhere. So we have, you know, we use them on the outside of the rig. We have them on the bicycles. You can yeah. put them on a helmet. They're great. They're waterproof. You know, if you're out here, you want to record your adventures and, you know, record those memories, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who have never used a GoPro before, I didn't before I met Liz, the way you mount them, there are two little tabs that fold out of the bottom of the GoPro that a screw goes through. Well, I had one of these when I lived in a house, a real house, a brick house. <laughs> and then when Paul and I got together, he brought one, actually this one. That one. These are great. So if you're in an RV, you need a compact vacuum to just sweep things up. And this makes it fast and easy and it's rechargeable and does not take a lot of space. And of course, you know, it opens up. When we bought the new rig, it actually has a central vac, but we still use this thing all the time. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the furry ones in your life. I love this collapsible bowl for dogs. Comes in different sizes. This is a smaller one. It will hook to the leash. So wherever you're out there walking your dog, your dog gets thirsty. I assume you have a water bottle with you. Just pour a little water in it and yeah, easy peasy mm -hmm. for your little hiking buddy. Yeah, I drink out of it all the time. <laughs> so let us know in the comments if you have any gift ideas for your fellow traveler. And remember to join the A-Team. Just push on the subscribe button. You know, I mean, there's a lot that we can talk about. You're you talking know? to me? I am talking to you. You're not listening to me. <laughs>